Ever wondered how businesses predict their sales for the upcoming year or how a doctor can predict a patient's recovery time based on certain factors? The answer lies in a statistical method you may have heard of, linear regression. Now, picture this. You have a bunch of data points scattered on a graph and you need to find a line that best fits these points. That's essentially linear regression in a nutshell. It's a way to predict a dependent variable, the outcome, based on one or more independent variables, the factors that influence the outcome. For instance, a business might use past sales data and advertising spend to predict future sales. A doctor might use a patient's age, lifestyle and medical history to predict recovery time. It's all about finding patterns in the data and making predictions based on those patterns. And that's where linear regression comes in. It helps us make sense of the world around us one data point at a time. Now, you might be asking, what exactly is linear regression? Well, let's unravel this concept together. Linear regression is a predictive modeling technique widely used in the field of machine learning and statistics. Predictive modeling, as the name suggests, is about predicting unknown or future values based on known information, and linear regression is one such tool that helps us achieve that. Let's now delve into the heart of linear regression, the mathematical equation that forms its core. This equation is y equals m times x plus c, or in a more casual language, y is equal to mx plus c. Here, y is what we call the dependent variable. It's what we're trying to predict or estimate. x, on the other hand, is the independent variable, the value that we already know and are using to make the prediction. m represents the slope of the line, indicating how much y changes for each unit change in x. And finally, c is the y-intercept, the value of y when x equals 0. Picture this, you're trying to draw a straight line through a scatter plot of data points. The goal is to get the best possible fit, minimizing the distance between the line and all these points. This is essentially what linear regression does. It computes the best values for M and C, such that the line represents the data as closely as possible. The beauty lies in its simplicity and interpretability. By looking at the equation, you can easily understand the relationship between the variables. If M is positive, Y increases as X increases, and if M is negative, Y decreases as X increases. Simple, isn't it? However, remember not all relationships can be perfectly captured by a straight line. There might be curves, zigzags, or no pattern at all. That's when we need to consider other forms of regression or predictive models. But that's a topic for another day. In essence, linear regression is like a best fit straight line through the data points. It's a simple yet powerful tool in the realm of predictive analytics and machine learning. Scene script. Let's delve into some real life examples to understand this better. Picture this. You're a real estate agent tasked with predicting house prices. You have a variety of factors to consider, but for now, let's focus on the size of the house. By plotting house prices against their corresponding sizes, you can create a linear regression model that will help you predict the price of a house based on its size. So, the next time a client asks for a price quote on a house, you'll have a scientifically backed estimate ready. Now let's move on to another example. Imagine you're a nutritionist and you're trying to predict a person's weight based on their height. This might sound a bit odd, but bear with me. By plotting people's weights against their heights, you can create a linear regression model that predicts a person's weight from their height. This can be incredibly useful, especially when designing diet plans or calculating BMI. Lastly, let's consider a scenario from the world of business. Say you're a marketer and you're tasked with predicting sales based on advertising spend. This is a classic problem that many businesses face. By plotting sales against advertising spend, you can create a linear regression model that predicts sales from advertising spend. This can help in planning marketing strategies, setting budgets, and forecasting sales. These examples are just the tip of the iceberg. Linear regression models are used in a plethora of scenarios, from predicting stock prices, forecasting weather, estimating life expectancy, and so much more. The beauty of linear regression lies in its simplicity and versatility. It's a straightforward yet powerful technique that can be applied to a wide array of problems. 
As you can see, linear regression is a powerful tool that can help in predicting and analyzing a wide range of scenarios. Did you know there are different types of linear regression? Yes, you heard it right. Depending on the number of independent variables, we have mainly two types of linear regression, simple linear regression and multiple linear regression. Firstly, let's talk about simple linear regression. As the name suggests, it's simple and deals with just one independent variable. Imagine you're trying to predict the price of a house. In this case, you might use the size of the house as your independent variable. You are assuming that the price of the house depends solely on its size. So, here, size is your independent variable and the house price is the dependent variable. You're trying to find a linear relationship between these two. Now, let's move on to multiple linear regression. Here, we deal with more than one independent variable. Sticking with our house price example, we know that the price of a house doesn't depend solely on its size. There are other factors at play too, like the number of rooms, the age of the house, the location, and many more. Hence, when we use all these factors to predict the price of a house, we're venturing into the realm of multiple linear regression. So, when we have just one factor or variable that we think affects our prediction, we use simple linear regression. But when we have more than one factor to consider, we switch to multiple linear regression. Both simple and multiple linear regression have their own places and are used based on the problem at hand. They are powerful tools in the arsenal of any data analyst or scientist, helping them make sense of complex data and draw meaningful conclusions. To sum it all up, whether you are dealing with a single variable or multiple ones, linear regression has got you covered. And remember, understanding the problem is the key to choosing the right type of linear regression. Depending on the number of independent variables, you would choose either simple or multiple linear regression. While linear regression is a powerful tool, it does have its limitations. Firstly, it's key to remember that linear regression assumes a linear relationship between the independent and dependent variables. In simple terms, it believes that a change in one variable will correspond to a proportional change in the other. But reality is often not so simple. The relationship between variables can be much more complex, non-linear and dynamic. While linear regression is a great starting point, it may not provide an accurate model in all scenarios, particularly when dealing with complex systems and intricate relationships. Secondly, linear regression is sensitive to outliers, those pesky data points that don't quite fit in with the rest. If you've ever tried to draw a straight line through a scatter plot, you'll know that a single outlier can drastically change the slope of that line. In the context of linear regression, these outliers can significantly skew results, leading to inaccurate predictions. It's therefore crucial to carefully clean and pre-process your data before applying linear regression. Another limitation lies in the fact that linear regression only examines the mean of the dependent variable. It assumes that the spread of residuals, or the difference between the observed and predicted values, is constant across all levels of the independent variables. This is known as homoscedasticity. However, in many real-world situations, this assumption doesn't hold true, and we may encounter heteroscedasticity, where the spread of residuals varies across different levels of the independent variables. This can result in an underestimation of the variability in data and inaccurate predictions. Lastly, it's essential to remember that correlation doesn't imply causation. Just because two variables move together, it doesn't mean one causes the other to change. While linear regression can help identify trends and patterns, it can't establish the cause-effect relationship between variables. It's important to be aware of these limitations when using linear regression. Understanding its constraints allows us to use this tool more effectively and make more accurate predictions. After all, knowing your tool's flaws is just as important as knowing its strengths. So, what have we learned about linear regression? Linear regression at its heart is a statistical tool that allows us to understand and predict the relationship between two variables. It's a powerful method that's used in a myriad of real-life applications, from predicting house prices to understanding climate change trends. We've discovered that there are two main types of linear regression, simple and multiple. Simple linear regression involves one independent variable. 
while multiple linear regression takes into account two or more independent variables. Each type has its own unique use cases, further expanding the utility of this statistical method. However, we must remember that linear regression isn't without its limitations. It assumes a linear relationship between the variables, which isn't always the case. It's also sensitive to outliers, which can skew predictions. In conclusion, linear regression, despite its simplicity, is a fundamental tool in predictive modeling and machine learning.